hi guys welcome back to spice channel tv thank you for always coming out here if you're joining us for the first time please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you so my country people they've been talks by some certain political groups that Gulag jonathan should be you know considered for president in 2027 this is interesting I mean, this is coming from a Niger Delta Integrity and Justice group that has stated that they have no interest in playing second fiddle in governance of the country by working to produce only vice president. And this group stated this while reacting to a call on the People's Democratic Party's 2023 presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar to pick the Bayesa state governor Doin Diri as his vice presidential candidate ahead of the 2027 elections. Now, this Niger Delta Integrity Group has expressed a preference for Gulag Jonathan as president to Diri as vice president in 2027. Describing the remarks by Diri's angel that the Bayesa governor would make a good pair for Atiku as a good observation. The group, however, said there was a different plan for the Niger Delta region in 2027. So speaking by a statement by its secretary, George, the group said that their agenda, their sole agenda for 2027 is to produce the president. In as much as they appreciate Diri and his closeness to Atiku, now they want to work against short changes in the Niger Delta region ahead of 2027, and they want to produce the president. And their mission is to ensure that the Niger Delta completes its term of eight years at presidency. So this time they are coming stronger with the argument of allowing Jonathan to complete his tenure for the region. Instead of producing a VP in Diri, they prefer a president in Jonathan because he is still loved and he has global appeal and they believe he will succeed. Guys, this is interesting though. This Niger Delta uh, group, you know, rooting for the former president Gulag Jonathan to come back as president. <laughs> is it possible that Jonathan will come back as president? I don't think it's possible. Jonathan, you know, cannot be re-elected into uh, the, the, the office of being a president because he has completed the tenure of, uh, you know, the former president, Yaya Dua. Although in 2015, he tried contesting with Buhari just to complete the, the tenure of Yaya Dua. But Buhari, you know, uh, overtook him. And then he had to hands up for peace to reign. Because there were threats from the northern region that if Jonathan doesn't step down well, he will see more fire. And Jonathan being a very peaceful man, despite losing the election to Buhari, he quietly stepped down. He quietly stepped down. And a lot of people worked against Jonathan. In 2015, a lot of persons worked against Jonathan because they say, oh, we want change. We need a change in the country. Jonathan is this. Jonathan cannot perform. Jonathan cannot, you know, push the country forward. People were tired of Jonathan. They said they wanted change. And then they voted uh, Buhari in 2015. So, you see, and then come 2015 now, Nigerians you know, started regretting their decision because the change they saw was quite different from what they were expecting. So my country people, Jonathan lost his second term bid to Buhari of the APC in 2015. And they've been caused ahead of the 2023 elections by some certain persons that Jonathan should come back, you know, that he can make another shot at presidency in 2023 when they were speculating that Jonathan should decamp to the APC so that he can have a shot at, you know, clinching to uh, the seat of the presidency just to test the waters for his presidential bid. Many political groups were mounting pressure on uh, Jonathan for him to run the 2023 presidential election that he will certainly win. In fact, some persons were offering to buy Golok Jonathan tickets 
in the APC so that he would win uh, the elections, that he tends to be the best man for the job. But Jonathan re rebuked those uh, speculations. He rebuked those speculations and, and all of that, that he's not interested in running for, you know, the presidency. And we can recall just, you know, a few weeks uh, last week, the, the wife of the former president, Gulag Jonathan, Patient Dim Jonathan had reacted to calls that even if they tell her to go back to the Aso Rock Villa, she will never go back. I mean, that video trended when Patient Jonathan told Nigerians that the problem of Nigeria is too much. That if they should tell her to go back to Aso Rock, she will run. She wouldn't want to go back because the stress is too much. She noted how she's looking very beautiful much more younger than before because the problems of Nigerians were weighing her down and her family. So, I don't think Golok Jonathan will contest again as the Nigerian presidency. Jonathan will not seek a re-election into the office of the president. He wouldn't, you know, he wouldn't seek a, a, a re-election bid. So those that are calling for Jonathan to come back, you all heard what his wife said, that they are not coming back to the Aso Rock. She is not interested. The problem of Nigeria is too much. In fact, she's looking way more younger and more, you know, beautiful than before. A lot of people that were laughing and mocking Jonathan back then, they were always, you know, saying that Jonathan could not do this anytime Jonathan wants to implement a policy. Back then when Jonathan wanted to remove the fuel subsidy, a lot of people, even Tinibu, this president, Bola Admet Tinibu, they protested against it, that Jonathan should not remove fuel subsidy. Now look at, they've removed fuel subsidy now. Everybody's crying. Nigerians are crying. Had it been they removed this fuel subsidy since, I think we would have been in a more, you know, Nigeria would have known the position we ought to be by now. But no. We did not value what we had back then. And it is not coming back again. So I don't think Jonathan will be coming back again as Nigerian president or to be the Nigerian president. So this calls from this group, from this political group. I know this is their own personal interest that Jonathan should return as president. But Jonathan cannot be the president of Nigeria again. He cannot so they should think of someone else. Yes, I know Jonathan is loved by many people, by many Nigerians. A lot of people, you know, see Jonathan as a man of peace and all of that. It's a good idea. But Jonathan cannot come back to run as presidency. You know, he cannot come back to run for the office of the president. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.